Hi and welcome to our latest video where we want to provide you with some top tips for your Microsoft Outlook calendar. So let's get started with number one, replying to an email with a meeting request. When we go into one of our emails in our Outlook app, we can go right across to the three dots on the right and you can see the first option shows a reply icon and meeting. If we go ahead and click on this, we can then get sent to a reply email which automatically adds in a meeting to our email response and we can then change the specific date and time that we need. This will then send through to the recipient as any normal meeting request would. This is just a little shortcut to sending a meeting request. Number two, sharing your availability in a response email. This ties in with our tip number one. If we want to let the other person decide when to have the meeting, we can simply send them our availability by replying as usual, but going into the three dots on the right where it says calendar, then we can show our availability and provide a date range to send to the recipient. There are advanced options like only showing working hours, including details of items marked private or attachments within calendar items if found necessary. Once we have chosen our settings, we can then send this off to the recipient and then they can choose when to set up the meeting based on your availability. Our tip number three is changing your time scale. In the top bar, we want to go into view. We have our work week up currently, but we want to go ahead and click on the icon that says time scale. This allows us to change the time view of our calendar. For example, if we go to five minutes, this then allows us for a more detailed view of the day and more space for extra details needed. As you can imagine, 60 minutes is a complete opposite and will only allow for small details to be added in. Number four, setting Microsoft Teams meetings as the default meeting type. So this one is really simple. All we need to do is go into file and then options right down at the bottom. And then in calendar options, we then can tick add online meetings to all meetings. This will set the default meeting onto Teams when, whenever we create a new meeting. Number five, integrating your to-do list into your Outlook calendar. Staying in our view menu, we want to go to the layout on the far right and in there we can choose the to-do bar. When you have the choice to choose between your calendar, people or tasks, I'm just going to show you what clicking on tasks looks like. It will automatically pull through all of your tasks from your planner. These can then be filtered and arranged via type, start date, due date, etc. You can also reply to tasks, mark them as complete or remove them from the list, all from your Outlook calendar. Number six, schedule view. By going into the view section again, we can change our view to schedule view, which is an alternate method of viewing calendars that allows you to easily see when events overlap and where there is free time between those calendars. Schedule view is especially helpful when planning meetings between multiple people. Number seven, creating different categories. On our calendar, we are able to click on one of our appointments and categorise the appointment by colours. These colours are completely customisable as you can see here. We are changing this specific appointment to a different colour which is now going to be under marketing cam campaign category. You can change the names of these categories as they're fully customisable to exactly what you need and will help you stay more organised. Number eight meet now through the outlook calendar meet now is another sweet and simple tip you can create a meeting in your calendar home or use the meet now button where a meeting will initiate immediately where you can then copy your meeting link or request people to join this just gives you a super easy way to connect with your team quickly number nine changing your response options when sending out a meeting invitation via email on Outlook, you have the ability to choose how you want attendees to respond with, with free tick boxes, request responses, allow new time proposals and allow forwarding. Depending on the nature of your meeting, you can customise the responses you want to receive from the recipients. Number 10, drag an email to create a meeting. This one is pretty short and sweet too. All you need to do for this one is literally just drag the email that you want to create a meeting for and drag it down to the calendar in the bottom left hand corner where you can then organize the details and send that straight off. 
So that is the end of my tips for you today. I hope they help ease the use of Outlook and hopefully have given you some shortcuts to increase your productivity. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks.